Hello and welcome to the new video of JPA tutorial. In this video, I'm going to talk about the one-to-many relationship. In this relationship, each row of one entity is referred to many child records in the other entities. In one-to-many relationship between table A and table B, each row in table A is linked to zero, one or many rows in the table B. In the previous video, we have covered the one-to-one -one relationship where we have implemented the relation between student and school. Before we move on, I would like to refactor the code and add the relation one-to-one -one between student and tutor. Let me add the tutor and tutor repository class.
Now I can implement the one-to-many relationship between school and student entity. Inside the school entity, I'm going to add the set interface for student with a one-to-many annotation and the getter and setter methods. Then I have to add a new method called addStudent inside the school repository class in order to allow the user to add the student inside a specific school. I'm going also to add the removeStudent method in order to remove the student inside a specific school entity. Let's go inside the app class in order to try the new one-to-many relationship using the add and remove student methods. Let's run it. I'm going to check the log. So I added the student, added this tutor, assigned the tutor to a student entity, then I added the school. After that, I'm going to check the database. So I have my student inside the student table, then I don't have the association inside the school student table, but I have the school saved inside the school table. Let's fix this issue, adding the transaction begin, persist and transition commit with the entity manager inside the add and remove student method.
let's run it and check the database again. Now, I have the relation inside the student table between the school with the ID 3 and the student with ID 1. Now, I'm going to test the remove student method. In this case, inside the table school student, I don't have any entry because I have removed the relation with the remove student method inside the app class. In this video, we have learned how to use the one-to-many relationship with JPA, creating the relationship between student and school table. I hope you liked and enjoyed the video. Inside the description of this video, you can find the link to the GitHub repository and if you have any question, don't hesitate to add a comment inside the section below and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel to be updated with a new video that I will upload. See you in the next video, bye!